Ahoy, mateys! Welcome to Real World Pirate History, as told by yours truly, Captain Grimm. This week, we talk about the man who comes to mind whenever the word pirate is uttered in conversation. Blackbeard. Also known as Edward Teach, or Edward Thatch, depending on who you talk to. A veteran of Queen Anne's War, and a hater of anything to do with King George, Blackbeard brought the American colonies to their knees during a two-year period of the Golden Age of Piracy. Not much is known about Blackbeard in his early life, and much information about who he was differs so greatly between sources as not even know if his last name was Thatch or Teach. We do know that his first name was Edward, though. Despite English propaganda and romanticizing of his acts as a pirate, Blackbeard was one of the most conflict-diverse captains of the Golden Era. Blackbeard took more stock in psychological warfare, projecting an aura of darkness onto his victims that invoked the very image of the devil come to walk the earth. Some records of his victim statements say that Blackbeard often admitted to being the Antichrist himself come to reap the wicked of the new world. Fear was Blackbeard's greatest weapon. Blackbeard was also one of the founding members of the Pirate Republic of the Bahamas and a student of the pirate captain Hornigold. Hornigold's introduction and embracing of democracy upon the pirate vessels he commanded spread from crew to crew, thanks mostly in part to his two most loyal disciples, Blackbeard and Captain Steed Bonnet. It was Bonnet and Blackbeard that continued to encourage and spread the democratic system across pirate culture after Hornigold's retirement in 1717. Blackbeard's biggest and most lucrative heist was the blockade and ransoming of the entire colony of Charlestown, South Carolina. In May of 1718, for over a week, Blackbeard blockaded the inlet to Charlestown and captured several trade ships coming in and out of port. Stripping them of their valuables and holding all their crews and passengers hostage, Blackbeard ransomed a lot of them to the governor of South Carolina for the price of a large lot of medical drugs and supplies. Shortly thereafter, he ran his flagship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, aground and accepted a royal pardon. Blackbeard settled in Bath, North Carolina for a short while before falling back into the pirate's life. The governor of Virginia put a force of pirate hunters together led by Lieutenant Robert Maynard, who tracked down Blackbeard on the 22nd of November, 1718. Following a fierce battle and boarding action between Blackbeard and Maynard's crew, when the smoke settled over the entangled vessels, Blackbeard lay dead. The pirate had been stabbed over 20 times and had five bullet wounds across his torso. Maynard cut off Blackbeard's head and hung it from the bow spirit of his ship. His body was tossed overboard without ceremony. Legend says that Blackbeard's headless corpse swam after Maynard's ship for five nautical miles before finally disappearing below the waves. And that be the tale of Blackbeard, the most feared pirate to have ever sailed during the Golden Age, and that's saying a lot considering he arguably had the lowest body count of any of the pirate captains during this era. Alright mateys, that be all for today. Share your thoughts down in the comments and maybe suggest who Old Grimm should talk about next. Who knows, I may just pick that pirate legend to tell. Until next time, mateys, I be Captain Grimm of the Antelope, and may we cross paths upon the Sultan Seas. Mm -hmm.